Sam is home from work and he's jealous that we got to spend time in the barn today. So Sam and I are gonna walk down to the barn. It's already happened. I said to the girls, you wanna go down to the barn, Gabby? What? You wanna go back down to the barn? No. No. down to the barn no. no so I have been planning like what am I gonna do in there because it's starting it's starting this weekend like this weekend it should be all ours there should be no more stuff in there I want to show you guys something and so I want Sam to build me a table like I want like a nice table in there and so I want him to build it out of like old wood like this so not exactly that table but I want like a, I want a, a homemade table. So I'm gonna go down there and show him what I want and hopefully he can do it and start it this weekend. Like, I'm excited. I'm excited to, I've been like researching footing because I want really good footing. I've been like, yeah, I can't wait. So yeah, we're going back down there. And um, I can't believe the girls don't wanna go. Like, this is exciting for me. In the spring, all this will be smooth. This will just be one big, huge property. And I, I don't even know what I would do here. Like. It's just going to be one big, huge, flat land. This is the warmest barn I've ever been in. Look, I cleaned your room. Your room has no light, though. It has no power. Either. Look, yeah, it has power. Look, there's an extension cord here. And, an, and, a, and a plug here. Plug. You guys hear the noise? Uh, the trees, the trees, huh? Sophie's terrified. She's terrified of the barn. Like when we were here earlier, she's like, I, I'm leaving. Take me back home. She's like, I'm never riding my horses in here. She's yeah, she's afraid. So the people that used to own this, this barn used this just to store stuff. It was a storage area for them. And I was looking at this shelf. I was like, oh man, I'd like to keep it. It's old, but it's really, I, I think it's really cool. Yeah, it is small. You guys, it is really small. But once it's all fixed up and the footing is good, once all the footing is fixed, it's icy down here and I'm nervous. But yeah, I mean, it's small. I mean, this is the first time I've been way back. Oh my gosh. This is the first time I've been way back here and it's dark. Like we'd only be able to ride in the winter time till four o'clock. <laughs> Crazy. Or you can put those lights in. Yeah, we'll have oh, to put lights in. Light yeah, down. yeah, we will put lights in. But see how the bottom is like open like that? Yeah. So apparently raccoons come in there. Would you close it off? Yeah. yeah. I know, you'll be awesome. I can't wait till you clean those windows. Oh, some of you guys have been asking, um, what happened to race car driver? And, and he's away in Canada um, after Christmas. So many people go away because yeah, it's cold here. Um, so he's away, but he will be back and he will still be training us. And I cannot wait for our first lesson on him, but it kind of is good because Storm is kind of off and we're also waiting for our chiropractor who is away <laughs> because hello, freezing cold weather. They all want to go away. Um, we should have went away. Our lessons got canceled today. Sometimes that happens, especially in extreme weather. And it's really cold today. Like, it's so cold. What's the temperature? Minus three. That's it? Really? Oh. With the wind chill, minus 16. Yeah, minus 16. So in Canada, we have something called the wind chill. So it's minus three, but because of the wind, it feels like minus 16. The other question that people have been asking is, when the heck are we bringing our horses here? And honestly, we don't know. Like, Storm is definitely not coming right away. He's gonna, it's gonna be a while before he comes because show season is about to start. And the girls need to be practicing and working on all that. And the nice big arena is where they need to be. And uh, we need to still like put in an outdoor arena and stuff, someplace big, a big arena that they can uh, ride in. We don't have that yet, so they need to be there. So definitely uh, that has to happen before we can move there, move them here. Stella is gonna be coming sooner. Um, like I said before, as soon as we find another horse, which we are looking for, holy cow. Uh, we need to get those hooks so we can hook up the waters. Our water buckets. Look at that one. Yeah. 
Reset them? Yeah, you're gonna have to do that because they don't really close very well. I love the sound of that though. This one just hit the and move it over. Yeah, it's the same as that one doesn't work either. Yeah, so one works. Oh, so Oh, okay. So this is how it works. Let's see. So there's like a little thing in there and you click that. Okay. Oh, that is super easy. I love it. Yeah. Oh, well, we can fix that. So uh, back here, you can't really get a good view, but back here is where we would put our outdoor arena. Like it's actually pretty wide. It's pretty flat, but I mean, obviously needs some work. And it goes all the way back to that tree line, like the little past the trees there. And yeah, and um, eventually we could even open up this or I don't know, we could do something, but yeah, this is what we plan. So we'll have to see how it works out. Ruby likes it here, don't you Ruby? Mm -hmm. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.